Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about senior software engineers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, do you think coding challenge homework is necessary for a senior software engineer as the initial step for the hiring process? Yes, I would call it absolutely critical. Uh, the reason being very simply that senior software engineer is just a term that we use. Uh, uh, people throw it around. It's, it it just means nothing basically. Or it's supposed to be mean that you've worked for like that you're really good or that you worked for a certain amount of years. But I can tell you from experience that just because you worked a bunch of years doesn't actually mean that you're any good at what you do. I interviewed well over now a hundred seniors. Uh, over the course of my career and I can tell you that the quality range of what they like they use the same term and s a few of them are so good that I mean I truly feel that these people are worthy of that title and some of them are like ridiculously young like they're like they must have been coding since they were eight or something like that they're extremely good and then you have people who have been working for 20 years who barely know enough to do the work of a junior software developer so it's sort of important to you should always test the coding skills of everyone who is supposed to do coding in your company and that's why I also tell companies and people that it's very important that you have two elements whenever you evaluate software developers number one is that you have a coding test that reflects the sort of skills that you need in the company in other words, if you just give people a really hard computer science question type of thing, then that's not really a good idea, in my opinion, at the very least, uh, because it doesn't reflect what you need from the person. The best thing is if you create a code challenge that is actually going to reflect the sort of work that they're going to do. So an example would be if you are working in Java or something like that, and you're primarily building web services, well, then maybe it is nice to provide a set up like a basic uh, application which has a few endpoints or something like that which like an API or I don't know exactly you can you make something up and then create a problem statement where yeah there's some classes here that need to be implemented and the specification looks like this and this and then just have the person solve the problem it doesn't have to be super complicated it just has to be complicated enough that they have to do some realistic coding and then you look at did they add unit tests did they write did they, like did they use nice abstractions etc etc it gets evaluated by the other part which is that you have to have an actual software developer who knows what they're doing evaluate the results and the reason why you want to do that is because if you're only going to talk to people or like if you if you have a screening process where you're you're actually just taking people's CV and saying yeah this person looks applicable and then you're doing interviews you can do that as well it's just that it's going to take a lot more time from your software developers and if you do the naivest thing of all where you think that well I'll just hire a recruiter or some manager who's going to do all the interviews well then you're going to get in a lot of people who don't really know what they're doing because uh, software development is the sort of thing where everybody like, it's almost I find this hilarious everyone practically in IT who is not a software developer wants to as soon as they even t like, they can write a hello world application so that they can say these words well I'm not a software developer but I know a little bit about coding and I go yes sure I, these days I just nod because I have managers who are dangerously powerful who go and say the same thing and yet I can't even talk about I can't talk to them as I can to my junior software developers but I, you know if they want to believe that they have the skills necessary to make an informed decision on a senior software developer who can speak the lingo to a point where they will speak circles around them because I've been in the room when they have done the ego thing that a lot of people do who have a management position they start they take over the entire conversation even though there's two experts sitting in the room and they talk more than anybody else and I just sit there can you just shut the fuck up so we can talk about code 
because this is why, why we are here to figure out that this person knows how to code and you know so little and you talk so much about all these things that are irrelevant in order to do the evaluation that I don't have time I'm not gonna have time to ask all the questions because this is a full stack role therefore there's a lot of technology to cover there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done but sure let's talk about uh, your, your stuff that has literally nothing to do with evaluating this person. If you have such a person who does the entire evaluation, then uh, you're basically screwed, practically. And I've worked with many companies who have that uh, that process where there's no code test sometimes, or uh, they have a very basic code test, and then there's like an interview with someone who doesn't know the first thing about software development, and then that's the whole whole thing, right? that's sort of like let's throw the dice and hope that we get someone good uh, but yes I would say that having a code as of some sort is always all, almost always necessary when you're hiring any type of software developer it doesn't matter if they call themselves a senior or something else so what I want you to take away from this is that yes uh, coding challenge homework is necessary for senior software developers just as anybody else it's actually something I hear quite often that uh, some seniors say that, oh, well, I have, I'm have i not going to do a code test to, to get a job. And then I tell the recruiters who ask me about that, yeah, okay, then they just ask them to have a pleasant day and then let's go and talk to somebody else. Because the problem is that they might be really, really good, but how will we know? So should we hire this person based on the that they really, really promise that they are good? That doesn't make any sense. So we have to ask them to do a code test, and that's why I tell people, try to balance this situation. You have to give people a code test, but giving them like this monstrous behemoth type of thing is really not a good idea. And it's really not necessary to give people a code challenge that will take days to do. Give them something that is realistic, something that where they will have to solve a problem that is a little bit complicated, that's going to take a few hours to probably do, and then evaluate. The reason why it has to take a few hours is not because it has to take a few hours, it's just that in order for you need a sample. It's sort of like going to the doctor, sort of giving a sample in the lab so they can evaluate your blood. Like you can't just take like a drop of blood. They need a little bit of quantity so that a bit of volume so that they can actually run all the tests that they need to check that you're healthy and stuff like that. It's the same deal here. You need enough of a sample of coding to be able to make an informed decision. And then you show that to a experienced software developer. You can turn this around and do the interview first if you want to. It's a feasible way of doing it as well. It's the only thing I'd raise my finger about is there that it usually means that you will spend more time talking to a lot of people. Like because a lot of uh, the interviewing candidates and so forth, they can't even produce a working application. And so it's sort of redundant to have them talk to start off with because a lot of people are applying for programming jobs but they have subpar skills and if you're gonna pull out your software developers every time somebody comes uh, to your door you're gonna have people who are gonna have to sit there all the time and as I said I really urge you to do it that way because the second you say well but yeah but we don't want to give them the code test to start off with we want to do the interview first because that seems to be an easier way to get the really quote unquote senior people to be okay with doing the interview then you're optimizing for the wrong thing and all of a sudden you're going to be forced to have people who have all that extra time and are not coding to do the interview and now you're going to get shit people anyway so I really don't have a better solution than doing it this way realistic code challenge type of thing I have more steps that you can have if you want to but usually at the minimum realistic code challenge followed by personal interview with experienced software developers have a great day